in recent weeks. The cocaine, 965 pounds of it, was in bricks, and the bricks were in duffel bags. Fifteen duffels discovered in the lower cabin of this powerboat, which had docked for refueling at Watson Island. A pair of customs agents made a random check on the craft and came away with almost pure cocaine worth an estimated $170 million. To the best of our knowledge, this is the largest uh, cocaine seizure from a private pleasure craft in the South Florida area. And this coke seizure is said to be the fifth largest on any sort of craft anywhere in the U.S. Two Cuban-born men, Severino Hernandez and Amado Poso, have been arrested and charged with smuggling and conspiracy. They'll appear in court tomorrow morning. This is the third big coke seizure in the last 15 days in this area. Back on January 15th, Marine Patrol agents seized almost 500 pounds of coke in another powerboat. Then, five days ago, Metro Police hauled in about 220 pounds of coke when they busted a drug lab in Far South Dade. That is about 1,600 pounds, almost a ton of cocaine off the street. Will it make a big difference? Uh, overall, this is probably a very small piece of the action. Nick Bogert, News.